Hello OSA, Taras here. Welcome to another episode of our running series, What is a Fish? And because we don't have enough of them, we're gonna be doing another catfish episode. Travel with me to the inner Amazon basin where we're gonna be covering the talking catfish or the Raphael catfish. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the Dorotidae. So these guys are highly represented by, like I said, this, the talking catfish, the Raphael catfish, and they're a highly armored catfish family that has evolved to live in muddy, muddy, woody basins and, and river dumpage sites. So these, uh, even though they're quite active right now, uh, because I'm spooking them, there's a couple things that should be uh, known about this particular family. One is that they have fairly sensitive hearing. Uh, they are known as the talking catfish because when people catch them or pick them up in a net in an aquaria, they'll grunt and uh, make a loud noise by extruding air through their gas bladder or scraping their spines together. But they're also charismatic bottom feeders that are mostly, if not predominantly, active at night. So even though I have a bunch of these individuals swimming around because I'm kind of scaring them with my loud voice in an aquarium, especially as brightly lit as this one, if there's any caves or logs or openings, you're pretty much not gonna see these guys for the most of the day because they're gonna hide inside that log, they're gonna feel safe in there, and then they're come out at night. So if you really want to enjoy these guys as bottom feeders, it's important to have a photo period on your tank. You know, your, your, your tank is not always just for display. Light also plays an important role in making sure that the fish's lives are regular and getting their circadian rhythm normalized. Um, and you're also going to want to feed uh, the tank a little bit of bottom sinking feeds, like sinking pellets, or even a protein-rich algae wafer of some kind at night to make sure that these guys have some sort of forage. But as a whole, they stay uh, relatively modest in size. Most species in the aquarium trade do not get larger than this. And they're a fantastic, easy, somewhat nice looking uh, cleanup crew option for uh, even bigger monster and uh, even bigger community tanks. If there's any other subjects you'd like us to cover on uh, the aquarium industry, species, subjects, feel free to please comment below, subscribe, be the algorithm like it was a hungry catfish, and visit us at www.osachoice.com for all your needs to have catfish and other critters.